What if I told you right now that I stole a girl's husband from her and her newborn baby? Yes, I did that. And? <laughs> yes, I am a homewrecker. And what are you? Irrelevant. That, my friends, is Ariana Grande's latest message to the people. Before I get started here, I just want everyone to know that I am an avid Ariana Grande fan. I have loved her music since yours truly, okay? I was jamming out to Daydreaming in the fucking car, you know, when I did that one semester of college I did. That's been my bitch. I wanna say will always be my bitch. That's to be determined, I guess. And you know, celebrities, they often disappoint those with a moral compass. So who's to say if that I won't completely hate her in the future? <laughs> but I have been a long time Ariana Grande fan, so I don't want anybody to come in the fucking comments like I'm just some hater ass bitch. No, I'm not actually. Actually, I'm a fucking fan. Actually, I loved I love positions. <laughs> it has some bangers on there though. It has some motherfucking bangers though. Safety net. Still blast that to this day. And of course, thank you next. And all, all of these, these wonderful projects that she's put out. And she has now, after how long has it been since positions? Yeah, it has been four years since her last project. So that's that's a pretty good amount of time. In the meantime, I know she's been working on her skincare line and wait, it's makeup. No, Rem Beauty, it's makeup. Her makeup line, she's been working on that and she's also been working on the new Wicked movie that will be coming out in two parts i hear i'm very excited about that funny little thing happened on the set of wicked <laughs> ethan slater is her co-worker in wicked co-star they seemed to really hit it off ariana just recently got divorced to her husband her well i guess now ex-husband dalton and immediately just goes into it another relationship now to be fair we don't know exactly how long like they they might have been separated a while and she might have waited a good while but ariana's kind of known for just like jumping right into a new relationship like literally she just does not give herself a chance to breathe i don't think after one relationship ends it's again i don't know her life i'm not claiming to but just from the patterns that i'm seeing and and a lot of other people are saying it's not looking too functional. For those of you who haven't heard about the recent Ariana Grande controversy, basically Ariana got with Ethan even though he had a whole wife and newly fresh out the womb child, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of these facts. I'm just kind of recalling off the dome what makes it even that much more gross and weird is that ariana was reportedly kicking with the two of them ethan and his his wife uh and and talking about how much she wanted i guess her own baby and family and stuff and then she just stole her man <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, that's uh and and they're still going strong, I guess. They've been pictured out and about together since all of that and they seem like they're just sticking it out for now. Again, Ariana though is is not only known for jumping to relationship to relationship without any time in between or barely any time in between, but she also her relationships don't seem to last that long. Again, I don't know her life. Her personal life is her personal life. And as we will discuss with her new single, Yes And, her business is, is hers and, and mine is mine. But you are a public figure. So we are going to discuss it today. Just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Ariana has finally come back 
with new music after four years with her new single Yes And. And when I first heard this track, um, I was like, okay, it's, it's cute. It's cute and poppy and, and I'm a fan of pop. And I'm a fan of that kind of like house-esque, you know, sound. It's definitely catchy, but it just, it was at the same time giving very much nothing. Compared to Ariana's music in the past, I feel like this is just very bland and very blah and not really, it's not serving for me personally. I've seen a lot of positive reactions on Twitter of people loving that she's doing this more house pop kind of sound and they're just, they're really loving for it. And I guess if you really enjoy like that niche genre, then you would really enjoy the single. And I'm not opposed to house at all. I mean, I fucking love Beyonce's Renaissance for one, but this was just, I don't know, it was just, it was kind of boring and kind of blah and just not, nothing special, nothing new, nothing innovative, nothing really that I, I haven't heard before. It was just kind of uninteresting. And I really hope that the rest of whatever this album is, is better than this. Hopefully this is the worst of, of it all because I, I mean, I've seen Ariana Grande in concert, honey. Like I, when I say I'm a fan, bitch, I mean that. Like I love her and her music. So this was just kind of a big letdown for me. I felt like after four years, I was expecting, and especially after all of the controversy, I was just expecting something that would hit a bit harder. There's also the lyrics as well that uh, <laughs> really were not it. For, for me, personally, in case you haven't noticed, while well, everybody's tired and healing from somebody or something we don't see just right. Boy, come on, put your lipstick on. No one can tell you nothing. Come on and walk this way through the fire. Don't care what's on their mind. And if you find yourself in a dark situation, just turn on your light and be like, yes, and say that shit with your chest and be your own fucking best friend. <laughs> say that shit with your chest keep moving like what's next yes and now i'm so done with caring what you think no i won't hide underneath your own projections or change my most authentic life and then it goes to the pre-chorus and the chorus again bridge my tongue is sacred i speak upon what i like protected sexy discerning with my time your energy is yours and mine is mine what's mine is mine my face is sitting i don't need no disguise don't comment on my body do not reply your business is yours and mine is mine why do you care so much whose dick i ride why uh <laughs> It's the lack of reflection, the lack of self-reflection. It's the lack of self-reflection for me because it's like, you know why everyone's talking about whose dick you're currently right. I don't think many people were saying much about Dalton, to be fair. I mean, maybe some stands, you know, were finding out certain things. I don't fucking know. But like, you, we all know the situation here. And it's not like she's directly addressing like, oh, none of it's true. And oh, and with the music video that she put out, she kind of alluded to like people, you know, believing whatever they see online and thinking that it automatically must be true, which obviously, yes, is a problem. OK, I'm not denying that. But in this case, it's just a bit out of touch to me. I don't know. It's just like, OK, at least be a bit self-aware. Like, putting it on the critiquers or the people just trying to call out the questionable behavior and essentially categorizing all of it as just hate, unnecessary hate, and they're all just projecting onto me. They're just projecting their own insecurities onto me. And I'm just sitting here, innocent little me, Ariana Grande and like living my best life i don't get it like why do you care who's dick i write <sighs> so it's just a bit like okay ariana you <laughs> let's not play dumb here and that i also that aspect of the song i also wasn't really a fan of it just kind of made it worse so i had to take a look i you know like i said i saw people praising it on twitter a lot and i was feeling like you know how you feel when like 
every it's seemingly everyone likes something and you're just like not vibing with it at all and you're thinking like is there something wrong with me am i just not why am i not seeing it so i had to go over to the pop culture chat subreddit y'all know i'd be over there in their like swimwear okay and i had to see what they were saying because i knew that they did not typically <laughs> have a positive view of ariana at least as of recently. Let's take a look at what they said. The whole song is just, you guys are projecting and look how little I care. Sometimes shame is necessary. <laughs> I agree, honestly. Shame can very much be necessary. Girlie did not just say, why do you care whose dick I ride? Girlie did indeed just say that. These people who roam the earth fucking other people over, getting pissy when people take issue with their behavior are among my favorite. Just the sheer audacity of it. Have some shame, please. Not a girl's girl. Hope that ugly man's ex-wife is thriving. <laughs> and another thing about Ethan as well, a lot of people, if you guys aren't aware have been going in on this man and you know i mean calling him spongebob not necessarily because he looks like spongebob although i guess he kind of could be a human version of spongebob in alternate reality but he played spongebob on like i guess broadway or whatever in the musical <laughs> have not seen it have no idea if it's even good so they call him spongebob a lot and they just kind of also compare him to ariana's brother frankie and and saying how much they look alike it's very it's hilariously disturbing she has no self-reflection capability whatsoever how freaking heartless i just knew she was gonna girl bossify being a home wrecker and that is gold girl bossify being a home wrecker i mean that is they're not wrong okay <laughs> like that's essentially kind of what this song represents i hate to say it so basically attempting to take her power back and releasing a bad bitch anthem about how she doesn't care about all that criticism but the criticism in question is her stealing an infant's dad oh my god this is just not this is oh god again i'm a fan I'm a fan, I swear to God, but the, I, I can't argue with this. Really boring, I won't be listening by choice again. Respectfully, this is a bad look. My friend just said that this was break my soul for white women and I screamed. <laughs> God. Ah, and I've been seeing a lot of comparisons as well on Twitter of people like positively comparing Ariana and Beyonce on how I guess, you know, renaissance was obviously very house inspired and and so was her tour and they're just comparing i guess it, it's yeah uh <laughs> yeah i don't fully disagree with that that assessment this is uh break my soul for white women i honestly feel like i'm crazy after viewing Pophead's overwhelming positive reaction to it like it's okay but for a debut single after a major scandal i expected something that hit way harder this song is literally the definition of fine like she will make her stands happy and it will probably be a hit but it just goes to show how she's still rarely clever or innovative with her songs this is going to be playing in all the malls it's a mall song i can feel <laughs> very much it's giving very much a mall song <laughs> like i'm thinking forever 21 for sure maybe jc penny macy's um <laughs> it's definitely giving mall song and apparently she also wrote this song like by herself i think yeah i i think i, I read somewhere that it she was the only writer on the song and that she also helped produce it i love that she does that i love when women are involved in producing a track it's just like that that's it's giving tinashe my main bitch my main squeeze <laughs> but tinashe's version of this i'm sure would sound a lot better i'm sorry Ari. like this is not you need to get call up victoria monet get her back in the studio with you call up taylor parks call whoever you need to fucking call get them back in there who you worked with on thank you next and and positions i think too maybe like let's let's make sure this next album is better than this first single i don't know i just can't really defend her anymore and i really truly do wish her all the best i hope that she is at least able to self-reflect in private but this song is definitely not uh, a reflection of that happening so 
yeah all in all um i think this single is out of touch i think she really needs to go back to the drawing board and maybe write more songs that are just just taking a bit more accountability for one's own actions it's okay you know we're all human and we all fuck up and make horrible decisions and we have to live with those horrible decisions especially when we're in the public eye this song yes and i i don't you know as cute and and, and poppy and, and pretty as it is i don't think it's a good representation of what ariana stands for and it doesn't make her look like someone who is good at taking accountability that's for sure and we don't like people who can't take accountability over here we we don't fuck with that not in this house so i just hope that she grows from this and that she learns from this and that she makes Better music than this. And I hope she dumps. No, you know what? <laughs> Stay with Ethan. Let this be the last one. Let this be the love of your life, and may you both ride off into the sunset together. Because after that shit show, all that controversy, I don't think you need any other. I don't think you need any other dick to ride. I think this is just Spongebob stick is just fine. Let's just stick with that and see where it goes. I think you might live a much more fulfilling life. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I wanted to say on that topic. Again, I'm not a hater, although I'm sure I'm still going to get comments about me being a hater anyway, because that's just how YouTube works. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I, I love you. I'm in love with you. Make sure you give this video a like to appease the algorithm gods and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from moi which i know you do I, I see you staring at that subscribe button right now you're you're just you're aching to press it just, just go ahead go ahead and press it sorry i've been gone so fucking long i i, I just been in the process of moving 2,000 plus miles across the country and then just dealing with like the the work situation because I have to work a regular job ew so you know that all that has just been very exhausting and very but very exciting at the same time and I'm glad I'm here I'm on my own again and I thank any one of you guys who is still sticking around to like see any more of my videos um I am 2024 is gonna have to be the year of consistency for me it's just gonna have to be so thank you so much to all the new subscribers to anyone who's just engaging with my content in any way i am eternally grateful but that's all i got for today guys and remember thank you next was so much better than yes and as a whole so i'm just gonna go back and listen to that and i think you all should just stream thank you next if you're gonna listen to ariana okay bye thank you bye